Now, if you've been involved in the crypto space, whether it's been for a couple of years now, or maybe even a couple of months, you've most likely have heard of the term crypto mining. And if you're watching this video, you definitely have heard of it because you're probably interested in getting into it and you want to know if you can make money with it, or I just put some crazy thumbnail and made you click the video. But whatever your reason is, don't worry, because I'll be going through everything in today's video, showing you whether or not crypto mining is still profitable, if it's even worth it to still get into it. and if you stay to the end of the video i'll show you guys how i'm able to get my miners for amazing prices and still make money with it without even seeing them or setting them up now last week i attended a bitcoin mining conference called mining disrupt out in miami it's the largest mining conference out there and i met tons of cool people and learned a lot about profitability and crypto mining and i'll be sharing with you guys everything and all the cool little secrets i learned today as well but before i get into any of this make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already i make videos all about crypto and how you can become rich from it so if that interests you guys consider subscribing but without further ado let's get into the rest of the video now if you're watching this i assume you already have a brief understanding of what crypto mining is and how you can actually make money from it but for those of you that don't essentially you can think of mining crypto like being your bank by verifying any purchases you make and making sure it gets processed properly because what happens is is whenever someone sends crypto to another wallet or buy something in crypto a transaction occurs where money is now being sent somewhere and because crypto is decentralized there is no bank that tracks these transactions and makes sure everything is accurate and getting sent to the right places that's where miners come in in order to validate these transactions you need computers these super high power computers that can solve complex mathematical equations that validate these transactions basically the term mining means validating transactions and to do that, you need these high powered computers. And then for validating these transactions, you get rewarded. Now, that was the technical definition, but you can think of your miner as also being like your rental property that you own and you have a tenant renting there. So this tenant or blockchain pays you every month for having your computer up and running and validating these transactions. Now, obviously, the miner will have some costs just like your home will to keep it running. So you'll have to use the rent money or the reward or crypto that you earn to pay for these costs and anything left over is then considered your profit hopefully that clears some stuff up for you guys that didn't really have a good understanding of what crypto mining is but regardless the main question is is all of this profitable and is it still worth it to even do and the short answer is yes and maybe no but that all depends on you whether it is or not profitable it's honestly all up to you i'll, I'll get into what i mean by that in a little bit but to really understand if it's really worth it or not we need to zoom out a bit and see what the costs are that go into mining crypto now first obviously you have the cost of the miner itself which depends on what miner you get but the prices range from a thousand to maybe a couple thousand dollars for one machine and then you also have the electricity costs these are you know high output computers that require a lot of electricity to run so you have to take electricity into account as well and just know it's not cheap and then also you have pool fees because in order to mine crypto you have to join a pool and they have fees ranging from like one to three percent which is not too bad but other than that you have no other costs i mean maybe you'll have a build out cost where if you plan on running these miners on your own at your own place but I go through all that hassle when there are legit crypto mining hosting companies out there that will host your cryptos for you and even handle all the upkeep. You just need to pay them the electricity costs, which usually are also a lot cheaper than what you get at your house. I'll also get more into this in a little bit as well. But besides those three costs, there's nothing else. And anything left over is obviously then consider your profit. But again, this is all theoretical. Let's use some actual numbers and see how profitable these miners can actually be and see if it's really worth it for you so for that let's hop into my computer and look more into it okay so a website i use to determine a miner's profitability and just get a better feel for the overall crypto miner market is asicminervalue.com now i recommend if you guys are wanting to get into mining or already into mining use this website there's a couple other websites like this already but i personally prefer this one but what this does it lists out all the miners out there so you have l7s you have k3s you have s9s s19s all these miners and it also also shows you the profitability so this takes out a lot of the guesswork and you pretty much can see everything right here to know if it's profitable or not so for example you can see the l7 it's 11 a day now this one the ks3 this is 1800 a day um this 
is not an anomaly. This is really true. You could make $50,000 a month, $650,000 a year with this miner. But the situation, but the issue with this miner is that um, it's not available yet. Not that many people have it. That's why um, the returns are so high. The more people that mine on a specific uh, pool on and a specific uh, miner, the difficulty goes up and the rewards you make goes down. So right now this is a brand new miner and it's on uh, it's mining Caspa. So returns are a lot higher and also these ones are on pre-order a lot of these places you have to order them and wait so only a few people have these that's why they're able to make this much which is insane but for those of you that do awesome awesome good for you guys but for us normal people uh we're gonna disregard this first one but from the d9 down this is pretty standard you can make 14 dollars a day 11 dollars a day 10 dollars a day 10 you know nine um all the way down to it even shows you when you're negative so the thing is, because we are in a bear market, a lot of these miners are negative. You're, you're not going to make a lot of money. So that's why you hear a lot of people say crypto mining isn't profitable or it's not worth it because majority, like if you look over here, for there's 11 cents a day. You only have like, that's right, like 20 miners. But if you go down here, you have list on list on list of miners that are available. You can buy these miners, but they're just going to be negative. Um, I just want to click on one of them and show you guys real quick. So for example, let's say uh, we choose L7. Now this is a miner I have, but if you click on it, you saw in the other time, but it breaks it down by day, month, year. It breaks your income by 21 uh, daily, um, your electricity costs, and also your profit. And if you scroll down here, you can also see other vendors that you can buy this miner from. Now for me, I personally don't recommend this and the vendor i use typically always has way better prices than these so it brings down the roi so uh how long it takes to make your money back much faster and i'll show you i'll tell you guys what supplier i use and i host with them too in a little bit here and one thing i do want to mention for you guys is the electricity cost so this is something you can change so if you change this to 15 cents you're going to see over here the profit goes down to eight dollars and 92 cents so the higher the electricity cost the lower your profit will be. So the key of the game is to have buy the machines for as low as possible and have your electricity as low as possible as well. But the issue is I think standard electricity rate for, for my house at least was I think third, no, actually it was 15 cents. So $8.92. That's how much I was going to make if I wanted to uh, run this miner at my house. But the miners are super loud. They get super hot. And I would have to build out this facility to make sure it runs properly and just cost so much money. Is it worth $8.92 a day? Probably not. Not for me. Probably not for a lot of people because this is kind of complicated stuff. So what you can do instead and what I do is you can host this miner somewhere else. So there's facilities out there in the world, in the U.S. that are dedicated warehouses for crypto miners so they have the proper airflow the proper cooling proper everything where your miners can function at a great um great area and also the electricity costs are not good or sorry are amazing so for me personally where i host my miners i'll talk about where i host them as well again i know you guys are probably super interested i will get into where i host them and where i buy them in a bit but for me i get my electricity rate and this is me sending this out this is me not even looking at the miner me not doing anything this is me ordering it and it's already ready to go i get mine at seven cents so instead of eight dollars and 92 cents i'm making 15 almost 16 dollars double um, from, let's say if I were to mine this at my house, which is, which is huge. $15 a day is $465 a month, 55, almost 50, almost $6,000 a year in profit. Now, the thing is, um, I'm going to use this for example, but let's say you get your miner from here for 47, $4,740. It's going to take about 300 days to make your money back 10 months, which is not bad, you know? 10 month ROI is, is very hard to do in the traditional markets. I mean, if you think about it, the stock market gives only 7% return on your money, but here you're gonna, you're basically getting 100% in 10 months, which is huge. And then the cool thing is, is on these miners or specifically on this L7 miner, you can mine a whole bunch of, these are just some of the coins. You can mine other coins as well, but you, uh, you can mine Litecoin, Dogecoin, uh, Florin coin, all these other script mineable coins um, because this is on the script algorithm. I personally use this to mine Litecoin. This is mainly for all coins i look of it i look at it like for all coins but if you go down over here to like the s19s the what is it the s19 xp x19 pro um also the j pros these are specifically bitcoin miners so for example let me type over here s19 
not the XP. Yeah, we could do the XP. So this XP, this is specifically a Bitcoin miner. As you can see, it doesn't make as much. But the thing is, is these miners, um, I should have mentioned this earlier, but a lot of these miners right now, they cost, you know, three, three, four thousand dollars, whatever it is. But at the height of the bull market, when we had it a couple years ago, these same exact miners were selling for twenty, thirty thousand dollars. And yes, the, the, you're making a lot more per day. You're probably making like twenty, thirty, forty dollars a day. But let's say you buy this now. Let's say, yeah, you're going to sacrifice not making as much, but you will make more when the bull market comes and these machines will be worth a lot more as well. So that's why I'm super heavy into crypto mining right now because it's the best time. Now, yes, the ROI is not the best, you know, 20 months, um, almost two years to ROI. But the thing is, again, this is getting super technical, but um, you can either do altcoins, you know, you can take the more money right now, but have the risk of these altcoins not being worth as much and these miners not retaining its value. Or you can go for these crypto miners. Uh, I'm sorry for these. Um, uh bitcoin miners these s19s um you don't make as much they don't cost as much but they hold re they retain more of their value and you're mining bitcoin and bitcoin everyone knows is not going to go anywhere but yeah asic miner is an awesome website you know you have a whole bunch of these miners you can look at these ones um you can they have the marketplace over here you can buy them here i i don't recommend that but you can get a good idea of your profitability and if it's worth it i personally if you do want to do this stick to asic miners um that's personally what i do that's where you can make the most money i know there's other gpu miners and stuff you can do um maybe i'll make a video if you guys are interested talking about what miners i have right now because i picked up a lot more i'm going to be picking more as well up in the next couple of months how much i'm making from it and everything um if you guys want let me know i can make a video about all that as well now for the part you've all been waiting for where do i get my miners and where do i host them and how do i get such good prices for everything and a lot of people have messaged me asking about this but i source all my miners and host them with musk miners now they've been in the crypto mining space for a whole bunch of years now and they've even invited me out to check out their hosting facilities and show me and the world that everything they do is legit which is huge because there are a lot of scams in this industry so transparency is huge they've even showed me where my exact miners that i sent them was on their lineup now now, from what I've seen, they have the most competitive prices out there. So you know you're not going to get ripped off like those other websites that you can buy other miners from. Now, you can also either buy your miners through them directly, which I recommend. But if you already have your own or want to get them somewhere else, you can also just ship your miners to them and they'll host it for you as well. But if you guys do buy from them, they gave me a special code where if you use the code FARS100, you'll get $100 off any miner, which is huge and a lot of money off these very expensive miners. Now, I've been using them for over a year now and i've had no complaints whatsoever they're probably one of the best crypto mining supplier out there and they'll even go the extra mile and hop on a call and answer any questions you might have and make sure your order goes as smoothly as possible but if you guys do want to get into crypto mining i'm telling you musk miners will legit help you through the entire process and they have the best prices out there and you guys can even host those miners with them and make money fully passively i mean that's what i do so if you guys are interested i'll put links to where you guys can buy these miners and check out their website down below but yeah at the end of the day crypto mining in my opinion is still worth it now yes you might not make a lot of money right now but at least it's something and when the bull market comes back you know you'll be making a lot more and your machines will be worth a lot more as well and i mean where else are you gonna get gains like you get with crypto miners because i know real estate or the stock market isn't gonna give you these returns and my whole philosophy is you want to be an expert on stuff that a lot of people aren't doing or don't know how to do because that's how you'll make a lot of money being that one in a million that can actually do it so while everyone is out there doing drop shipping e-commerce real estate you could be learning and getting into crypto mining something a lot of people that aren't doing it's hands off you get decent returns and has a lot of upside just just my two cents on all of this but other than that i hope this video helped you guys out and gave you a better insight on whether or not knowing crypto mining is worth it for you or not and if it's profitable but i hope Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace